Welcome back to Let's Play Right there. How long has it been this time? I don't think it's been quite as long the past few days. I haven't really got around to any recording at all. Sleeping patterns kind of been a bit all of the place. Essentially. Where did I last leave off? Oh yeah, I was backtracking, wasn't I? Yeah. There's also, I forgot the, uh, do one... Actually, now that I think about it, I think there might have been two puzzles I could have done. But we're back here in main building two. So, uh, yeah. Oh shit. Hello, janitor. I shall escape you. Mwah. Man, the delay. Let me do that. One, two, three. Yeah, about three seconds delay. Jesus Christ. The only thing is, he closes the door, and if you open it, he's just like, Hur! you gotta wait for him to leave the area. I don't see anything in this dark corridor. Hmm, well I sense there may be someone here. Oh, uh, probably nothing. I would be phased through the door. Magic. So, um, you know, Throughout this whole LP so far, I've been like trying to find the balance of the contrast because for whatever reason, when it converts to MP4, it looks dark as shit. I mean, it looks dark as shit even before it does that. So I have to put the brightness, well not the brightness, but the contrast way up, which makes anything outside this game look ridiculously bright. I don't know why it does that. It's like Resident Evil 3, well I suppose Resident Evil 3 isn't as dark as this game, but it is kind of dark-ish, but it looks just fine. This game, on the other hand, I have to turn the contrast way up for it to even look visible. I mean, granted, if I just use the original uh, recording itself rather than the MP4 converted thing, it would look maybe a bit better, but then it would, like, the frame rate would probably drop a bit because I'd have to record the original video with Camtasia because the uh, original video file is a f file that Camtasia doesn't recognize. So when I early on this LP, where I was like trying to use Movie Maker to kind of balance that, because Movie Maker could recognize it, but Movie Maker sucked ass when it came to you know properly like playing the video. It'd be loads of freaking random missing video shit. It was annoying. Just finding that right balance, you know. So, um, first things first. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> Actually, I think it's Faculty Office 2 has a puzzle I could try. I forget what room has that other lens. I need to pick up another lens. So I can go into the nurse's office and solve that one puzzle. Um. I'm trying to remember because I've literally this whole time not used the walkthrough I followed earlier this year to uh, do the ghost list. So I'm pretty much doing this entirely on memory. Essentially, I'm just like, okay, where does this stuff play out? Ah, uh, think, damn it, think. Uh, think, 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 think. I know that there's something we can do in the music supplies room with the metronome, but I think we need to get the actual uh, note for it first. And yeah, I think everything that I need to do is on the second floor currently, because we can't do anything on the first floor without getting the thing, and I think it's on the second floor. I think. 
Oh wait, no, I'm remembering now. It's all coming back to me a bit. I think. I think it might have been. Was it in the biology lab or was it in the science lab? It might be one of the two. Hopefully, I don't alert this asshole. Um, no. It's definitely the biology lab then. Or is this the biology lab? No, it was the biology lab. Or was it? Everything might actually be on the second floor now that I'm thinking of it. I'm pretty sure it's the stupid council. No, not the council room. The faculty lounge. I think that's where it is. God damn it, really, everything is on the second floor. That sucks. So I'm gonna have to wait some more for him to bugger off, essentially. Oh. He's already here. You can't see me in the shadows. Of course, I gotta wait a little while for him to walk up the fucking stairs so he's out of hearing range. Which is quite annoying, you know? Why did everything have to be on the floor where he's at? Seriously. He could have picked a different freaking area to freaking me in, you know? But yeah, he's like, oh, you wanna do side stuff? Well, screw you. Also, um, the rooftop key thing, right? I realized at some point after the previous recording, it's like, technically I need to do that in order to get something else. Because you remember in main building one there was like a note and a machine for keys where you combine two keys to make one? Well, those are kind of needed to open up those little boxes that are in main building one. There's three different keys in total and you've got to combine two together and you get a few combinations and some of them up in one box and another box and so on and so forth that all will have stuff relating to the ghost list more or less. Hope he doesn't follow me. Faculty office. Should be around here somewhere, I think, or maybe I'm thinking wrong. Actually, I'm thinking wrong, aren't I? This was actually where you got the keys and the, uh, but, oh, actually the typewriter's in here as well, isn't it? Yeah, everything really is on this floor. So, we got all the, uh, keys. So, uh. There we go. Dying message. Oh, that's different then. Nobody recognizes me. How much I care and love my students. I only meant for the kids to grow up. Oh, yeah, I get. I remember this now. I'm good and polite. But they only complain how harsh I am without thinking about how I feel. But I can endure this. Some this. Someday the students will see me differently. Yes, this has to happen. There was a junior year kid who died while sneaking out of the dorm during my watch. Am I so terrifying that the kids would take an extraordinary rant? It's not like I am raising them. Likely I've been doubting myself, slowly convinced that maybe I am in the wrong. Wait, that I begin to go wrong. I just heard the rumors today. Wait, no, today. It was about the kid who recently died. The rumors said maybe I killed the kid myself. I was so bewildered and angry that I could not say anything. Something snapped inside me. My true intention will never make its way to them. I am sick of everything. The quieter I get, the louder they buzz like a swarm of disgusting flies. They keep buzzing in my ear. No one is going to save me but myself. 
I gain nothing from holding back. I cannot hold it any more. Today, I will make an example out of some one. They will never be noisy again. This is a war, a war that will not end until one of us is gone. What a strange dying message. I mean, what the hell? That was bizarre, but... The point is, you can see the highlighted capital letters in odd places. That is important. It's for a puzzle. In this very room, I think, in fact. You know, like those, uh... It's like the first one we came across, where we got a key. In that, uh... Locked box on the wall, if you remember. There was also one in the music appreciation room. Basically, it's for one of those. If you look at the bits where it's highlighted, they all spell out numbers. So, with that in mind... Um, actually, I'm trying to think here. I'm going to recommend how much I can. I'm going I only meant for the kids to grow, so that's... Oh, but then there's you. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> it's easy to overlook that the F in For the Kids is capital. So the first number is four. So, second one. Because there's four numbers in total you got to find. They soon will see me differently, yes, that has to happen. There was a junior kid who died while as an S capital S Wait. Oh yeah, that would make sense. That's probably gonna be six, isn't it? Yeah. Where's the capital I? That's a bit a bit a harder one to see really. Oh, I think it's enduring there. A capital I is kind of hard to the spot, but that's six, so it's four six. I think there's one per page. So, T in today. W in was. And O in intention, that's two. So you got an F then of, but where's before that? Yeah, the buzz, the... Oh wait, that might be another one. That's like that, isn't it? Oh, I, I see. F... Uh... I think there's an I somewhere in there, but it's really hot. Oh, it's in buzzing there, I see it. And the V in save. And where's the E? And the E in someone, so you got five. So it's essentially four... What was the second number? Four... Four, six, two, five. Four, six, two, five. Gotcha. That's a neat little puzzle, isn't it? I don't think I solved that without having to look up how it worked, though. Oh, wait. It isn't actually in this room. It's in this building, though, is where the uh, thing is that you use that number of combination to get the... Uh, to get a ghost story, essentially. That's what all these puzzles tend to lead to. So, uh, that one being the lost and found. Is it in here? No. I think this. Oh, wait, here it is. This has got to be the one. So, it started with four, six, two, five. There we go. Oh wait, no it isn't actually, it's a small master. Right? 
Small mouse key, a small mouse key. It looks like it can open drawers and all objects. Oh. Unexpected. I was expecting a ghost story, but nope. So that's something. Now we can open these, essentially. We couldn't actually open those before, if I recall. These right here. Because they were all locked. Of course, much like everything else, there's not really uh, much to see in most of them. Can I close it? Yes, I can. Gotta close it after it, you know. Pretty sure the ghost story's gotta be in one of these, clearly. Each puzzle usually leads to one somewhere. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the room that has the, uh, there's that other puzzle. Strange, isn't it? But we already did that issue. Pretty sure the, uh, other lens is in here somewhere. Oh yeah, we can unlock these now as well. That, of course, you know, the whole scream in your face. You know, for such big lockers I can store so much, they don't really put anything in them, do they? Test, uh, eye testing lens left. A small lens that looks like a monocle. Wait, I already opened this one. Yeah. Can't get out of that one because there's a chair in the way and you can't possibly move a chair. Any idea how heavy chairs can be? Yeah, well, fuck it. He's not gonna be here for a while, so, uh... Where is the light? Oh, it's on the other side of the room. Yep. How annoying. It's, uh... Oh, wait, it's probably in this one right next to it, I'd imagine. It would kind of fit one that's to come all the way back here. Oh, they even kind of glitch through it there. Oh! It's ghost story number one, even. Ghost of a house, parents. As the time of its establishment, Y High School was in the middle of nowhere, at the base of a mountain with hardly any human traffic. Due to this reason, Y High School had dormitories for the students. In the female dorm, there was a notorious house mother, Miss C, who everyone was afraid of. Coming from a good family background, she demanded that the students behaved and followed rules at all times. She would give harsh punishments for any violation of the rules and this caused many students to complain about her. It was a little after the midterm when a junior fell out a third floor window and died. She was trying to sneak out of the dorms while evading the house mother's watch to go out and celebrate the end of the midterms. But for some reason, the rumor spread that the girl committed suicide because of Miss C, or even worse, that Miss C had killed that girl herself. Miss C was in a great shock, and for a while she stayed silent as if her spirit was broken. The students were happy about this. Changed and secretly kept an eye on Miss C to see if she would return to her old self. Then came the instant that riled up all the students. Miss C was doing her, doing her rounds and found a student whose hair was longer than regulation. Miss C took the student to the bathroom and cut Kill's hair. But when that happened, the student and all her friends surrounded Miss C and protested against her harsh punishment and strict rules. At first, it was only a few students who spoke up, then one by one, they were joined by other angry voices opposing Miss C, and soon enough, every student in the female dorm started protesting against her. Anyway, Miss C looked, an angry glare met her gaze. Finally, Miss C broke under all the pressure and her own pent-up emotions, and she ran out of the dorm, screaming like a madwoman, and the students scared. No one went after her, trying to calm her down. Sound like Miss Trunchbull from Matilda, doesn't it? In the end, Miss C's body was found on a nearby mountain a few days after though she went missing. Since then, people started reporting that they've seen the ghost of Miss C. The rumor spread quickly, and the girls in the dormitory suffered from insomnia and fear. 
Actually, though I'm to be shut down, even so, there are still sporadic reports of sightings of Miss C's ghosts. That one doesn't really... I mean, that is kind of a bit of a ghost story, I guess. More so than... Like, some of these don't really feel like ghost stories, really, do they? I mean, this one was okay, but... Considering, uh, well, to be fair, well, yeah, this one did have to have a bit of puzzly solving to get to it. And it kind of, like, it feels like a bit kind of average, really, doesn't it? But th that's essentially the ghost that we'd encountered in the bathroom, which fits the whole theme. We have to have the lighter to uh, do that. And I think we had to have the cigarettes as well. If you don't have the cigarettes, because it's like she's very strict with her rules. So catch the students in the uh, toilets with cigarettes, you'd be like, "Oh hell no!" And the only way you'd be able to do that is if you look in the mirror and light the lighter and have the cigarettes, essentially. And then she popped out of the uh, stall, didn't she? We've already saw that quite a while back, but yeah. So that's that. Anything else? I don't think any of these are gonna have anything in them. You know, as the extra character, you can actually open all this stuff without getting the master key. Because I guess the extra character kind of has a key like that for some reason, I don't know. Essentially, the extra character can open pretty much any door. Which is neat. Oh. Thought I heard him. Hmm. Fascinating. Now we're moving complete darkness. So, um, that's one of the, uh, side quest ghost stories out of the way. So, what's that leave now? I mean, we've got the other lens so we can go downstairs and do the, uh, eye test puzzle. Well, it's not really much of a puzzle, but whatever. What else is there? There's definitely something else that there was to do here. Or maybe I can't remember. How many of the ghost stories have I got so far, anyway? Got one. Well, it was just kind of like that. It's a shame you can't order them, you know? Where you can, like, put them, like, in order from 1 to 20 and whatnot. But whatever. They always just stick to what ones you pick up first which is a little kind of annoying because just seeing it out of order just doesn't look right does it? It's like you got 4, 17, 12, 13, 10, 19 it just looks jumbled so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 okay we got 12 of them so we've got about 8 left I think Eight ghost stories to find. We haven't even found... Well, actually. I'm wondering, like... That one ghost that we saw on the, uh... Walkway on the, uh, third floor of the, uh... New building. Like I said, it's her ghost story, which we haven't got yet. It's, it's definitely one of the better ones. Hello, sir, I've come to run away. Hmm, there seems to be someone here. Tell a spooky ghost story, Mr. Janitor. Well, there once was a janitor who didn't give a fuck. That's not a story, though. <laughs> The only thing is having to wait for him to, he kind of like waddles over there, he's just like meow, 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 and then he walks around there and he I'll go through that door or that door down there. My god, 24 minutes and this is all we've accomplished, this is all we've managed to achieve. 
yeah, he's gone. And nah, typical. The way to go is the way he goes. He doesn't want us to make progress. I hate when he does that. It's like he kept going back there when we had to go there, but now that we have to go somewhere else, he's like, no, I will probably go to that specific area. I wouldn't be surprised if he's gone to the first floor. I would not be surprised at all. You better not be, though. I want to make progress. Oh, fuck, he has. God damn it, Mr. Janitor. Why must you be a bell end? Cautious. Sneaking here. This is where we gotta go anyway. Just wait for him to either react or not react. Okay, I don't think he's spotted us, so we should be good to go. So what have we got? Bloody sensitive the controls. We got a two. This puzzle confused me at first. Essentially, what you gotta do is you gotta spot the uh, circled ones. And for some reason, you need both. I guess because the left and right ones are tuned differently. And the way it's kind of circled around can only be seen from each lens. That one's. I'm not even sure what to call that pattern. Be uh, um, oh wait, there's one above it actually. Kind of like a C to oh, and there's a plane, there's a plane. Okay, plane comes first then. So, C to plane, whatever that is. But you know what? What, what, what was the uh, button that opens the map on its own? Oh, I didn't even know you could do that with R3 there. Um, I don't think there was. There was definitely a button for it, though, wasn't there? But whatever. I shall see you next time, where we go back to the, uh, m uh, the, uh, new building. And get another ghost story by solving it. Actually, I just remembered I freaking overlooked something else as well. Which I think is on the first floor, so I'll do that before that as well. See if I can solve that puzzle. Get another ghost story out of it. And then maybe, well, actually, there's another puzzle to solve as well. And then, then there's another puzzle to solve. I don't know. Next part will probably be puzzly, very puzzly. Hopefully the janter isn't as resistant as the janter in this part was. Anyways, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.